Hello, students. This is September 2nd. This is selling through September at Rayfield. I am going to read to you today the Bill of Rights. I have a right to vote. I have a right to see a doctor. I have a right to go to church. I have a right to human disciplines. I have a right to community actings. I have a right to talk. I have a right to education. I have a right to refuse treatment. I have the right to privacy and dignity. I have a right to make money. I have a right to exercise. I have a right to see my records. I have a right to own possessions. I have a right to receive service. I have a right to no discrimination. And I have a right to no physically harm. These are your rights. And you as students here at Rayfield, those are your rights here. So don't let no one take your rights away from you. I want you to listen to these rights because we're probably going to be doing the rights, the Bill of Rights, throughout September. So the more we do them in each week, we would like for you guys to listen very carefully to your rights here at Rayfield, the Bill of Rights. The right that I am going to be speaking on today is going to be the right to go to church. You have the right to go to church. Church is a building where people assemble together to worship and praise God for his grace and his mercy and his goodness. No one has the right to take that from you. If you choose to go to church, that's your right. You have that right. You have the right to go to church. You have the right to learn about Jesus Christ, about his birth, his life, and his death. You have the right to learn about all the miracles that Jesus did here on earth. And those things you can learn by reading your Bible and by going to church. So listen, guys. You have the right to go to church. You have the right to learn to love your fellow friends. You have that right. Because when you go to church, God is love. And he will teach you how to love each other. And he will teach you how to love your friends, your peers, your teachers, your mothers, your fathers. Your group home leaders. God will teach you how to love them. Because see. By taking care of you guys. We love you so much. So go to church. Listen to the word of God. And learn how to love each other. Don't let no one take that right from you. One day. You may even be the pastor of a church. You don't know. You don't know the plan that God has for you. So by going to church, you can tap into something. You probably can tap in. Hey, you don't know. You can, might, just might be the pastor of a church. You have the right to go to church. And nobody have that right to take that away from you. That's your choice. You had a choice to pick the pastor that you want to listen to as he teach the word of God. That's your right. No one can take that right away from you. It's yours. So go to church, learn about God, and learn about his grace and his mercy. Church is where you can grow. You can grow in faith. You can get faith, and faith will Keep you going when you feel like giving up. You'll have hope to hold on to. Worshiping, praising, 
And glorifying God is the place to be. So remember, there is a I that is called ADA. It is an American with disability I. It became a law in 1990. It is a civil rights law that prohibit discrimination against individuals with disabilities. You have rights. And one of those rights is what we are speaking about here today. You have the right to go to church. So don't let no one take that right away from you. And don't let no church discriminate against you because you have a disability. That is not how God works. You have the right to pick the church you want. You have the right to pick the pastor that you want to preach to you. So keep that right in mind. You have the right to go to church. Listen to your bills of rights each week. Try to learn them. Get them in your head so that you can know what your rights are. You have the right. You have many rights. And I read them to you at the beginning when I started reading. So each day I want you to try to learn and to remember those rights. Because those rights belong to you. You have the right to go to church.